I go out every day to detect some metal Usually find some coins but this time I found a kettle My name's Alaska John I go out when it's dark Looking for a gold mine underneath a park I hear that beep even in my sleep Ring ting ting I found something I rummage through the ground to see what I have found So put YouTube on Join Alaskan John. Well, this morning I'm up in Eagle River. Drove up from Anchorage. I think they call this little park the Town Square Park. I'll correct it in the description if I'm wrong. It's just past 7:30. I was here earlier this year in the spring. And then last weekend I came up and they had their summer festival. They call it the Bear Paw Festival. And this place was just full. They had carnival rides and a little park area here it was just packed with people. So I thought, well, come up and give it a try. Got my Garrett AT Pro. We'll see what we can find. I've got target number one. It's not sounding very good. It's bouncing all over the place, but thought I would show my very first target if I can find it again yeah it's all over the place Looks like a little, looks like part of a toy gun to me, like a little trigger there. Alrighty, there's number one. Well, I got my first high tone target. It's ringing in the mid 70s, 75. It's almost guaranteed to be a penny, but you never know. Well, hopefully my pointer will be working. I just put in a new battery. Hmm. The sad thing is I have an extra one at home and didn't bring it. Oh, there we go. 1988 oh, got another Atari initial you might think it's a penny but I'm not sure 80 it's bouncing around a little bit If I could find it, it'd be a little deeper than I thought. Oh, it's way down there. Almost gave up on it. It was a penny. How about that? Alright. Got a good high target. Thinking a quarter. 86. Dropped down to 70 there real quick. 71. 
So maybe more than one target. There's the quarter part of it. Arizona. Arizona State Quarter. Ooh, let's see if there's anything else. Well, I guess that was all. Another target. Sounds like a penny. 76. It's really loud too. Loud and right near the surface, I think. There we go. It is a 2007. 2007 penny. It's got a nice color. Well, right underneath one of the swings, I think there's at least a penny. 75, 76. Might be something else. There's the penny. Boy, that was close to the surface. 1983. Well, guess that was it. I'm finding the pennies, and I think I got another penny. Seventy-five. Seventy-five, seventy-six. There we go. Nineteen ninety. Just finished this little section here with the swings and moved over here. You can see the mountains, boy, they're nice. And I think I got a dime. Hitting in the low 80s. There we go. 1986. Getting a good solid 81 target. And just as I say that drops down to an 80. Another dime, all right. Nice and shiny, 2003. 2003, it almost looked like a five, 2003. Got what sounds like some big money. 88. Bounce a little bit, but sounds like a quarter. There we go. Alright, 1990. Well, I've been finding a few more coins. Got a mid tone target, it's kind of in the foil, maybe the nickel range. 82. It was bouncing around before, so. on top of it. Oh, there we go. It was a nickel after all. Nineteen ninety three, I think. We've got an interesting target. It's reading seventy one. It's pretty consistent. And drop down to a 70. Too low for a penny, I think. 
Oh, it's a bullet. Look at that. Maybe a 9mm. Huh. Bullet found on the playground. Kind of. Kind of scary. Scary and sad. Well, I got the sound of big money here. Let's see. 87, 88. Looking for a quarter. There we go. Nineteen eighty one. I got some jewelry, but nothing but junk. Looks like an earring. When I first saw it, I saw the back like this and nice and shiny, so of course I thought, oh maybe silver, but definitely not. You can see where it's worn off there. Alright, got some more of the big stuff. Another quarter, I think. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Oh, it's a state quarter. Connecticut. Let me see if I can show you the, the tree on the back there. We've got a kind of an interesting target sitting in the mid 60s, which for me is usually a pull tab. See them bouncing around more than that now. Oh, there's something. Oh boy. Oh, it's just a tag. <laughs> I saw the gold color and. Well, maybe. It's got the name Nicole. Let's see if I can get to focus for you. It's got the name Nicole. It's got type of different writing underneath it's got like a tiny little stone right there just looking for a mark anywhere now well, the color is kind of off too so huh never know well, I worked my way over to this area. Still been finding uh, several coins. Got what sounds like another one. An 81, so let's see what we got. I think I'm moving it. Copper Penny, 1981. All right, we got a mid-tone target. I'll let you guys take a look at the numbers. 58. 58, 61. I'm betting a pull tab. piece of glass that doesn't need to be out on the playground. I'll get rid of that, but it's not what the detector was finding. Yeah, tiny little thing, little star. Hmm. Well, I got an interesting target. It's in the mid to upper 40s, which is probably foil. 45, 49. 
45, 49, 47. Oh no, another, another one was the, uh, the bullet fragment. This looks like a 22 shell. So this is my second related bullet item in this park. Oh man. I'm starting the last section of the playground and I have a thought I had a penny signal there we go 76 let's take a look it is here 1990, 1990 penny. Well, I came up to the gazebo area. The park is back down there, I should say, the playground equipment. And I got what might be some bling. Bring up in the upper 40s. Looks like an earring. Got a nice color. Let's see if I can see if there's a mark on it. Okay, I'm gonna take a closer look. I'll get back with you. Well, it does have a mark in there. I can see <laughs> I can see China but to the left of that it's got a couple different marks it's hard to tell looks good sounded good I should take a closer look when we get home but all right there we go alrighty well I had a more time to melody tech but I think I'll go look elsewhere I spent quite a bit of time here Got a neat little gazebo here. So I'm having to use my hat to put my finds on for the roundup because of the, the table. But I got a pile of trash. Nothing special about the trash. Uh, haven't even counted everything, but we've got a pile of pennies. Good pile of pennies. Only four nickels, but look at all the dimes. I don't think I've ever found that many dimes in, in one place. Just a bunch, a bunch of dimes four quarters and I got the the two bullets one's just the shell casing but one looks like maybe a nine millimeter a fragment of it also got uh, before we get away from the coins got a wheat penny 1953 found a wheat penny yesterday got a wheat penny again today that was kind of neat to find. Uh, got some bling. That one, little blue stars junk, of course. Uh, really a neat looking little earring with the the red glass. That's junk. Got a little feather thing. I think that's from some clothing. Got an earring which is junk, and got a couple which are pretty decent. This one is the one that says Nicole on it. Got a little diamond thing. It ring up in the gold range, so I don't know if it's gold plated or or what. And then probably the best find of the day is this earring, which has a good color to it. And it's also got some marking inside. I need to try to clean it up and take a closer look, but uh Kind of neat looking. And like I said, it's got some markings right inside here. Oh, I think I see it now. It's kind of cleaned up. There's the china. And it almost looks like it says 925. 
I mean that might be the silver on the top and there's another number next to it so uh, really interesting uh, I'll have to take a closer look once I get it home but uh, not too bad not bad My name is Alaska John, lots of things here going on. Thanks for watching all my videos. And so you know, before you go, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just so you know, before you go, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel.